Good afternoon, Young Apprentices. Once again, it's Jay Prothero with Toolbox, and today we are gonna talk about your Speed Square Lab. And in the Speed Square Lab, we're going to be using the tape measure because you've already learned how to use the tape measure. You've had two labs, so you guys should really be pretty solid there, right? And you've also learned how to use the Speed Square, so you ought to be solid there. Let's put the two together and have a little fun with this project with the third tool, of course, is our pencil, right? The tool that we've used the most, but that's appreciated the least. So, what we're going to do is, I want you all to pull out the ends, both of the ends, out of your Homer sacks, okay? The ends are the boards that will, you'll see the large hole, and then you'll see the shape here. This is called a dog ear shape, by the way. But these are the ends, so both should look like this. Let's get those out and be ready to go to work on each one of those. So specifically, we're going to start and we're going to measure from one end along the middle of the board. You already know this, that's where you should, you should always be placing your tape measure for any measurement in the middle of the board, right? So I've oriented my board, my end, on my work surface such that the countersink holes are up. Now you should also know what the countersink holes should look like, right? Because in the tool identification lab that we had, that uh, showed us the type of a hole that the drill bit, the countersink drill bit actually makes. And it leaves a small depression in the top of, of the hole. If you're drilling all the way through, it'll finish up with a depression on top. And that depression is there, as you know, to receive the head of the screw. So it's all flush when you're finished. Don't make the mistake and uh, uh, work on your lab with the other side up. You want your countersunk holes up, okay? Now that we've got the board oriented, the next thing is the tape measure. And I want you to measure down from one end to the other three inches, but be, be careful now, stay with me. I want you to measure from the end where the handle hole is. So that's going to be from this end. You'll place the hook, the hook of the tape measure in the middle, draw the tape measure out, and then I'm going to affix the thumb lock on the tape measure so it frees up this hand, but the tape doesn't go back in, right? You remember that. And I'm going to look for three inches, and I'm going to make a very, very small mark, a very light mark. You don't want to you know, scribble and make a big old dot there. A very, very light mark, even if you're the only one who can see it, right? So I've made that mark, and now I'm going to take my tape measure away from the mark, and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna double check that mark. Yup, I like the mark, it's at three. So now I will take my speed square. Oh, but being right-handed, I see that the, I like to draw my lines on the right side of the speed square. So it's all, it's hanging off to the side, I'm not sure what to do. So I flip the speed square around, and I can now have the slap and slide, the entire edge, to freely slide the speed square along until I meet my mark. I have properly aligned the speed square to the mark. And I'm going to take my pencil, and I'm going to make one strike with the line, very, very light. Notice the 45 degree angle of the pencil, right? You've learned all this. One stripe. Now, I wanna know how I did. We've already double checked our work with the mark. Now it's time to check the line. Tape measure back up, hook at the end, right down the middle, and as you'll be able to see, it's spot on at three inches. So I have a good line. So what are we supposed to do from here? Well, 
What I'd like you to do is draw three more lines. And I want those lines to be at four and three quarters inches, six and an eighth inches, and eight and one sixteenth inches. So three more lines. I'll repeat that for you. Four and three quarters inches, six and one eighth inches, and eight and one sixteenth inches. And all your measurements will be from the dog-eared end where the handle hole is. Don't make the mistake of measuring from the other end because that would be incorrect, okay? So once you do that, you will follow through with the exact same steps that we did to draw the three-inch line, which was make your mark, take the tape away, inspect the mark to make sure it's where you want it. If you like it, use your speed square, slap and slide, strike a light line, and then measure your line, okay, to make sure you like it. Make sure it's dead on. We call the project that you're about to build the perfect toolbox. The reason it's the perfect toolbox is because of several things that go into quality control. Not the least of which is all the double checking that is done on measuring. So it's important that you double check your mark when you make your mark for your line and then you double check the line that you drew. When you like it, move to your next line until all lines are drawn. Now, once all lines are drawn, you'll know that you have four lines on that board, right? Your three inch, your four and three quarters, your six and one eighth line, and your eight and a sixteenth line. Once you have those four lines, you can take your board to your buddy and have your buddy inspect your work. Now, when your buddy inspects your work, you make sure your buddy doesn't say it's good enough. If it's good enough, it's, that means it's not dead on. You want it to be dead on, spot on. Those lines at, at three and four and three quarters and six and an eighth should precisely match up to your tape measure. And if your buddy says they're good, then your buddy will put their initials on each line. And that'll be in the form of a straddle that looks like this. You'll notice that your initial is going to be, the, your first initial will be on the left side of the line. And it's a straddle because your second initial, you know, the one for your last name, is right next to it, but it's on the right side of the line. And that says that you are pleased with your line. And right underneath that, just as shown in the straddle diagram, you will see that's where your buddy is gonna sign. And your buddy will circle their initials. When that is done on all four lines, guess what? You get to do it again because you have two ends and you do the exact same exercise, the exact same measurements on your other end board. So then, in the end, you will have two boards, both of which should look like that. And you'll see the initials on here that indicate that I have signed it, those are my initials, and my buddy also inspected all of my work. So you'll have, the only difference here of what I'm showing you is, you'll have two of these. Each end will look exactly like this. Again, make sure your countersunk holes are showing on the outside, okay? Well, I hope that that is um, helpful and I hope you're challenged by this. You guys can do this. You've learned how to use the tools. It's not that difficult. And furthermore, if you need to brush up on any of this information, the videos are available to you on our website at www.toolbox.life. Remember, not .com, .life. And just go to the library tab where you'll find all of our videos available anytime you need to revisit 
the tape measure, the speed square, any of the videos attached to what we're delivering through this program, okay? So, um, I guess that's about it for today, and, and I wish you well on this lab, and I can't wait to see you next time.